This is Brandy Shampoo with Exploring Expression. Hello everybody, this is Brianne Holt. And welcome, welcome to another product spotlight. So this is a series where we share some of uh, our favorite products and games and game schooling items with you. So we've got a great one for you today. It's been a long time for me since we've done a social studies game and we have a fantastic one. Mm -hmm. But before we get there, what do they need to do? Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and comment down below. Absolutely. Well, we haven't told them what to comment, oh, but yeah. we'll get there. Just yeah. hold tight. Today's game is called Constitution Quest. So this game is intended for, let me see if it has an age on there, teens and adults. So it's intended for teens and adults. However, I play it with my eight-year-old. Mm -hmm. He needs help. So unless you're partnering, we play it as like... um cooperative game with my eight-year-old because really little kids it's going to be tough I'm just going to say so we're going to talk about what the game has and then we'll talk about um, a way in which the game has incorporated the ability to make it slightly easier so that's a good thing let's start with the board which is fantastic it sort of reminds me of a trivial pursuit board kind of it's not it's nothing like trivial pursuit except for the well, it's a little like Trivial Pursuit. There's questions and answers, we'll get there. Mm -hmm. This is the board. Okay, on the board you have red cards for the legislative branch, and it gets put over here. You have white cards for the judicial branch, there. You have blue cards for the executive, executive. branch. That goes over here by the White House. Mm -hmm. And then what is this? Independence Hall. Independence Hall. So this is for the founders and fans. These are mustard colored. Mustard colored cards. Mustard Gold. Color. And they go over here. And then you have quest cards. Quest cards will go in the, in the middle. middle. So what else does it come with? It comes with a package of the Constitution of the United States. A pocket constitution. Everybody needs a pocket constitution. And here you go. Mm -hmm. This is uh, the Constitution Quest answer key. We'll get to that here in a minute. Yes. This is the Constitution Guest game play rules and directions. Mm -hmm. um, some dice. Comes with two yes. dice. My favorite. <laughs> yes. It comes with this little pad where you see we've already played a, more than a bunch. Um, where you write your scores, where you keep your scores. So there's math involved. This is a social studies game, but there's also math. Love it when a plan comes together. So, and, and there's it, also a package of some of our people that we're gonna be. So we're gonna we're gonna kind of show you how this game is played. And this is my favorite, Alexander Hamilton. My name okay, is Alexander Hamilton. So I have Benjamin Franklin. My name is Alexander Hamilton. No, this is better. Okay, <laughs> let's so, start. Let's start. You can go first. Okay. All right. So you roll the dice. I got a six and a three. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, you landed right away on a quest. So when you land on a quest, you pick up these quest cards, which are true or false. Okay? And now the answers to everything Answer key. are in this book. So everything has a number. Like this is quest card Q29. So when I ask for the question, if I don't know it, which happens, then I can look it up in this answer guide. Mm -hmm. So, you ready for this? Yes. True or false, Congress has the power to provide punishment for counterfeiting U.S. money and securities. True. Wait, it's false, it's false, it's false, it's false. It was true. Oh, well, I got that right first. <laughs> <laughs> so then what happens if you get it right then you get the number of points that are on your die so the higher you roll the more points you get and you go around the board so there are two different types this is what I like about this one of the things is some people are better at the Constitution than others so until you get there or until I get there what you can do there are two types of show these two yellow cards so the other side one of these yellow cards 
does not have a star on the bottom. And one of them does. And one of them has a star. So one of the things I do, especially when I'm playing with my younger children, is I will um, sort out all the star cards because the star cards are easier. So what's the difference, for example? So these are founders and facts. The non-star card says um, general welfare means the average dollar amount for individuals receiving public assistance, health care for military officers, the mutual well-being of all the member states. Or how many states of the original 13 were needed to approve the Constitution? So these are all fantastic trivia about our government. And it's just a fabulous game. In fact, um, anybody who's doing an American history study, you know, once you get or a government study, this is the game for you. Mm -hmm. You come out knowing so much about the Constitution and so much about government. It plays, like I said, it plays a lot like Trivial Pursuit. So one of the fun things, explain to them what the detour is. The detour, if you get the detour, you have to go all the way down here and start over. And start all the way back over. So wherever you are, so the detour, you do not want to get a detour. If you it's land very on a bad. detour. Yes. If you land on a detour, you get asked the question just like any of them. So like, okay, Benjamin Franklin, suffrage means A, right to vote, B, right to citizenship, or C, right to own property. Suffrage. So this is L, see, legislative branch, 45. What was the question again? Suffrage means A, right to vote, B, right to citizenship, C, right to own property. C. No. B. A. No! <laughs> you need to watch Mary Poppins. There's a whole song about suffrage. I, I watch Mary Poppins. It's before. a fantastic movie, isn't it? It's good. So, so since she got it wrong, this is what happens. She goes into the detour, into the first phase. Now, next time she rolls, she moves as normal, but she has to go down the detour and then back where she started and then come back up. No. So it just, it just provides a little bit of uh, a fun and, you know, makes it a little bit more challenging. Um, so what's your favorite thing about this game? My favorite part was... Like, when you would roll and you would get one of these, you would have to, like, if you got red or something, you would have to get the card and you'd get to guess a question. If you got it wrong, you would have to, go back. yeah, go back and not get the points. So, how does the game end? Once the first person that gets all the way back, so you're proceeding in the, it's not like Trivial Pursuit, it's that you can cross the middle and do all sorts of weird things. You proceed in a logical order around the board. And when the first person gets back to the star, the game is over, and you tally up your scores to see who wins. So this is a fantastic, there's reading, there's trivia, there's social studies, there's government, there's math, mm -hmm. all in one game, cross-curricular. Let's see how many subjects and how many learning opportunities we can get in play. Because mm -hmm. learning doesn't have to be hard, and it doesn't have That's to be cool. boring right mm -hmm. so let us know what your favorite social studies game is or what game you would like us game product or other item you would like us to review next on product spotlight and until next time we'll see you later bye